All right, all right. <clears throat> See if I can get everything set up. Get a little drink here. All right, here we go. Just about ready to start. How you doing in the chat? How are you doing in the chat? All right. Well, welcome to some afternoon baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Afternoon baseball here. <clears throat> A little bit under the weather. Had came home early from work. Just uh, having an allergy attack or something, and so got a couple hours of rest and got rid of my headache, hopefully. So we got some afternoon baseball. don't normally stream this early in the afternoon, but figured if I stream now, get a game done in the afternoon, that way we can have a, a day-night doubleheader. That's right, a day-night doubleheader today. So we'll do a little uh, afternoon baseball, and then tonight, hopefully you guys will join us later tonight for another episode here. <clears throat> How is everyone today? This is your host, Jester. Of course, you know all my channels by now. Twitch.tv forward slash IDJester. YouTube forward slash IDJester. We are currently in the process of working on... Our Major League Baseball 2015 one and done tournament. Let's take a look at the results so far. If you've not seen this, you don't know who won the previous games, I would highly recommend that you uh, fast forward this video if you're watching this on YouTube later. So that way you don't get anything spoiled because we've had some very exciting games. If you're watching this live, obviously. Not much you can do about that. But here is our Major League Baseball 2015 one and done tournament. So basically what I did was take all 30 teams and see them according to their winning percentages. In the north bracket, um, we have the number one seed St. Louis Cardinals with a 617 winning percentage. They uh, have a first round bye. And in the south bracket, we had the Pittsburgh Pirates with a... 605 winning percentage. They had also gotten a buy. In the first round, so far, we've played uh, three games in the North Division. We had the 16 seed Baltimore Orioles and the 17 seed Tampa Bay Rays. Baltimore won 5 to 1. So they're going to take on the St. Louis Cardinals in round two. We also had the number eight seed Texas Rangers and the 25 seed Milwaukee Brewers. And in a stunning upset, the Milwaukee Brewers move on, 9-8. And they're going to face the 24-seed uh, Miami Marlins as another upset happened. It's the 24-seed Marlins took out the number 9-seed Yankees, 4-1. In the south bracket, <coughs> when Cleveland and Arizona, the 15-seed Indians versus the 18 seed D backs. The D backs won quite handily 8 to 1 against Cleveland, and so they moved on and will face the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we had the number 7 seed New York Mets take on the Colorado Rockies, the 26 seed. And in another stunning upset, the Colorado Rockies win 2 to nothing against the Mets. 2-0 against the Mets, so they will move on and face today's winner. We have the Houston Astros, the 10 seed, taking on the 23 seed San Diego Padres. So Houston was a 531 winning percentage. San Diego was a 457 winning percentage. So it'll be in Houston, the Houston Astros, and we'll be using American League rules for this game. So hopefully that'll uh, kind of update everyone and what's going on with the tournament. It's been a great tournament so far. Lots of uh, good views of the videos and also uh, some very exciting and close games and unsurprising. 
unsurprising uh, or very surprising uh, results as well. Today's game is going to be the Houston Astros and the San Diego Padres. And of course, we're if you build it, he will come. Well, I beat the drum and hold the phone. The sun came out today. We're born again. There's new grass on the field. Around the third and headed for home. It's a brown eyed, handsome man. Anyone can. All right sure that'll get flagged on YouTube and everything for you guys wondering why we waited and watching this video later there was probably a song there that's been taken out by YouTube anyways that's just another wonderful feature of YouTube and Twitch making sure that you don't legally use any of their precious music so <laughs> All right, well, let's get the game going. Fortunately, I've got it all saved and ready to go. Got things set up. We are using the San Diego-Houston matchup here. So go ahead and open up that file. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this region here. And uh, reposition things so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. So I can get rid of the desktop now. There we go. All right. So afternoon baseball here as the Houston Astros host the San Diego Padres in Minute Maid Park. Minute Maid Park here, 2015 Houston. Plus three to strikeouts, nothing for walks, nothing for home runs. Your starting pitcher today for Houston Astros will be Dallas Keuchel. Dallas Keuchel, the lefty. Let's look at his stats. He was 20 and 8 with a 2.48 ERA. Pitched 123 innings, 185 hits, 216 strikeouts, and 51 walks. The lineup he'll be facing today will be Will Venerable, Derek Norris, Matt Kep, Justin Upton. Uh, Solarte, uh, Spannenberg, Upton, Alonzo, and Jerko, and on the hill today for the San Diego Pirates, Padres, <laughs> Pirates, Padres, will be James Shields. If we look at Houston's defense, Rasmus in left is average, Masaryk in, uh, um, center field is above average, Springer in, Right field is below average. Valbuena is average. Correa is average. Altuve is above average. Carter is average. Keiko is way above average. And Castro is way above average. So, um, out of a possible 27 to be average, they have 10, 16, 20, 25, uh, 29, 31, 32, 33. 33 in range. Is that really right? Really? 10? 20? 23? 25? 29? 30? 32? Yeah? Okay. So uh, 27 would be average or 32, so quite a bit above average there. 2, 4, 5, 6. 6 up and 1 down. So their only weak spot really in average or in uh, range is in right field with Springer. All right, well, let's get the game going here as we look at Dallas Keuchel taking on the San Diego Padres. Will Venerable had uh, six home runs, 31 RBI, 16 stolen bases, betted 244. And the uh, first pitch of the game, here we go. All right, 42 against the lefty. Gets in the ground over. To Korea, create a Carter, one away. And I think that's literally the first team that's gotten the first out <laughs> in this tournament. Uh, the first the first batter. I mean, it seems like there's first and second with nobody out <laughs> on every every um, game so far. So Dallas Keiko off to a good start. Derek Norris 
14 home runs, 62 RBI, 7 stolen bases, a 250 average. Keiko with the windup and the pitch. And that is not, falls in that range there. 1-4 is a single. So Derek Norris comes in, winds one over Korea's head into left field. And we got our first base runner here. All right. Will, uh, Matt Kemp comes up. 23 home runs, 100 RBIs, 12 stolen bases, 265 average. Matt Kemp. Dallas Keiko with the pitch, the windup, and the throw. And against the righty, he walks him. So I spoke a little bit too early. Dallas Keiko got <laughs> the first out. But then, as usual in this tournament, first and second. Wow, Justin Upton. Coming in, 26 home runs, 81 RBIs, 19 stolen bases, 251 average. Justin Upton, the righty. And we got a 2 2. We got a range play at the ballpark. We just talked about uh, Dallas's, um, or Dallas's, Houston's good range. Let's see if it works out for him here. Uh, we got a 5 3. That's going to be to Korea. Korea, sorry. Uh, he failed his range check. We got bases loaded here, one away. So defense is going to play in. Defense playing in here. Let's see if this works out. 2-2, two, two, another range play at the ballpark, back-to-back. -back. 33, and this is hit to Valbuena, which is... A one because he's playing in. Yep. Mm. So he fails it. And nobody else goes. Nobody else goes because they were playing in. They lose some of their range on the infields. So that was a bad roll. And San Diego takes the lead one nothing. I think they'll play back and try for the double play. Hmm. Yeah, they'll play back and play for the double play. In case they get another range play. Well. Nah. They played them in once. Let's try it again. We're going to play them in once. We're going to do it again. Let's see if they can get, cut that runner down at, for, at uh, home here. 21. Oh, my gosh. He walks in a run. It's 2 nothing San Diego. 2 nothing San Diego. We have the 23rd seed San Diego Pirates. Up 2 to nothing. Bases loaded. Still no uh, one out. One out. We're going to play him back this time after the walk. And struck him out. Okay. So two outs. So they can just minimize the damage. They do have a potent offense, so we'll see. They're playing back this time. They only need to get one more against the lefty. And nope, didn't get the strikeout. 25. Uh-oh, that's into right field. 14. Is it going to fall in? No, it doesn't. Springer makes a nice, nice stop there and minimizes the damage there as San Diego bats eight in the first inning. Put two on the board and two nothing. All right, let's look at the starting pitcher for the San Diego Padres, James Shields, 13 and 7, 391 ERA, had uh, 202 innings pitched, 189 hits, 216 uh, strikeouts, and 76 walks. He'll be facing today uh, Altuve, Altuve, Springer. Valbuena, Gaddis, Carter, Castro, Correa, Rasmus, and Masaryk. That'll be the lineup he'll be facing. Let's look at um, San Diego's defense. Upton left is average. Venerable, center, average. Kemp and right is below average. Alonso at first base is horrible. Turco at short, not very good. Spannenberg 
at second, not very good. And Salarte at first is average. Shields on the mound is exceptional, and Norris behind the plate is above average. So out of 27, 9, 10, 15, 20, they only have 25, so they're too below average. Too below average compared to Houston. They do have the infield is not very good. Alonzo really hurts. As far as errors go, they are exceptionally good at errors except for first base, Salarte. He'll make a few errors. Um, and even right field's a little, you know, five is okay, but, you know, you'd like to keep it under five if you can. So you got a zero, three, four, which are nice, and two, one, which are pretty good. The pitcher makes a few errors as well, so we'll see. The catcher is really good. He doesn't make very many errors. <clears throat> All right, let's see how San, if um, Houston Astros here. Let's see if the Houston Astros can come back and do some damage here in the bottom of the first inning. James Shields with the windup in the pitch. 21. Ooh, can't get the walk. Otuve, 52. He's going to ground this ball right down the line to Alonzo. And testing his range. Unfortunately for uh, Texas, it wasn't a range play. Makes the play. George Springer, 16 home runs, 41 RBIs, 16 stolen bases, 276 average for Springer. The right fielder steps in, waits for the pitch. Here it comes. 54 and strikes him out. Luis Valbuena, 25 home runs, 56 RBIs, a stolen base, 224 average. Third baseman. He gets a curve, waits on it, and swings. Hits it high. Let's see what happens. One, two. Nope. It wasn't that high because it only went <laughs> it only went to second base, so <laughs> didn't go that far. <laughs> oh, that always happens, doesn't it? Always happens. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, Jed Jerko. 16 home runs, 57 RBIs, no stolen bases, 247 average here. Jed Jerko, obviously with the Cardinals now. But back then in 2015, he was on the San Diego. I decided to let him, leave him on San Diego and let him participate with that team. All right, here's the windup of the pitch. And Jerko goes down swinging. Venerable's 0 for 1. 0 oh, for 1. Gets the pitch he likes and swings at it but misses it. That's two strikeouts for Keuchel. Starting to settle down now. Two strikeouts in a row. He's up against Derek Norris. 1 for 1. Scored a run and ooh, almost got this almost got the trifecta. Uh, instead, he has him little grower down the line to Carter who makes the play. And after one and a half complete, still two. San Diego, zero for Houston. All right, Evan Gaddis here. Evan Gaddis, 27 home runs, 87 RBIs, 246 average. Wind up the pitch. Here it comes. And strikes him out. And James Shields got his second strikeout. Chris Carter. Chris Carter. 24 home runs, 64 RBIs, 199 average. Chris Carter, first baseman. He can launch one. Let's see if he gets all the one. Well, we got a range play at the ballpark. So this could be San Diego's uh, problem there. 1-1. One, one. Oh, we got a range. Uh, we got a rare play that's going to pop in here. So third base goes into hole to make the play. It hurts himself on the play. Resolve play. As a G5 range play, check for injury after the range play. All right. So Alonzo here failed his check. And Alonzo is injured and will miss the next four games. So third baseman, which might actually be a blessing in disguise here, is his one 
his one defense was not helping. Uh, he did have more at-bats than anyone else that wasn't in the lineup, so that's why he got the start today. So now we have a choice between Will Middlebrooks and Brett Wallace. Brett Wallace is not going to qualify, though, with only 96 at-bats. We're going to have to take Will Middlebrooks. Will Middlebrooks will come in and play for uh, Yonder Alonzo. Will Middlebrooks comes in. Slight upgrade on the defense there. But another injury. This is the second injury of the tournament now. <clears throat> Not for San Diego. We had one for the Yankees. But uh, their starting pitcher got pulled in the, after two and a third or two and two thirds innings. And they had to use relievers down the stretch. And, well, they're now sitting at home watching on the TVs. And uh, so that's that. Middlebrooks is going to come in. He'll have better range, not much. It's still below average, and but he'll have a lot more error rate um, chance with Middlebrooks. All right, so Carter gets on base as he singles pack past uh, um, the third baseman there. Now Middlebrooks comes in for the injury. First hit of the game, and it causes an injury <laughs> for Houston. 11 home runs, 31 RBIs, 2 11 average for Jason Castro. Jason Castro shields, trying to settle the team down here. 2-4, and strikes him out. 2 way. No strategy for Carlos Correa. 22 home runs, 68 RBIs, 14 stolen bases, 279 average. Carlos Correa, 2-2. It's going to be a range play. Once again, the range play comes into play. 31. This is Upton in left field, and he fails his check. And one lead runner advances, so you are going to advance. Chris Carter. And if the roll is less than or equal to the trailing runner's base runner, which is... Um, Four is equal to four. So as Upton tries to get out, Carter at third. Uh, good base running by Carlos Correa gets him over to second. And there's second and third, two outs. For Colby Rasmus, Colby Rasmus, 25 home runs, 61 RBIs, two stolen bases. Only a 238 average, though. Let's see. James Shields. With the pitch and strikes out Rasmus to end the inning. So after two complete, it's two nothing San Diego. Matt Kemp walked his first time up, and Keuchel with the sign and the pitch, and Matt Kemp gets a single over Correa's head into left field. And the man's aboard, Justin Upton, one for one today. Justin Upton, one for one, 46, and another strikeout by Keiko. That's number four. He needed that one. Matt Kemp at first is going. He's taking off and stolen base for Matt Kemp. Keiko not paying attention to the runner very closely. All right, Keiko against Solarte here. Oh, one for one with an RBI. 41, and Keuchel guns him down. Three straight fastballs. Corey Springer walks his first time up. And that's a nothing. And a 32 is ground ball to short. That's going to end the inning. Let's see if Houston's offense can wake up here. Before the game is over, two home runs, 36 RBIs, 24 stolen bases, 236 av average. Jake, Jake Marisnik, here he goes. Shields, the wind up in the pitch, here he comes. 
Curveball falls in for a strike. One away. Jose Altuve, 0 for 1. 62 against the righty is no home run check. 41. Instead, he flies out deep to left field for the second out. George Springer, 0 for 1 with the strikeout. James Shields pitching a good game here against the righty. It's going to be a strikeout. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. So after 3 complete, 2 0 San Diego. 2 0 San Diego. The number 23 seed. Against the number 10 seed. All right, Dallas Keuchel. Five strikeouts on the day. 34. Got another one against uh, Melvin Upton. That's six on the day for Keuchel. Will Meadowbrooks. I think he got hit his first time up to load the bases. And he hits a ground ball to Correa for the out. Two away. Jerko 0 for 1 with the strikeout. 40, 45, 4-5. And strikes him out again. All right, James Shields comes out for the bottom of the fourth. Valbuena 0 for 1 today. 32 against the lefty. 62, and it's a single. That falls in. That falls in from in right field. No strategy. Evan Geddes, 0 for 1 with the strikeout. And make it 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. James Shields, 7 Ks on the day. Chris Carter, 1 for 1 today. 1 4 against the righty. Nothing. 25, that's going to be a double. Falls in the gap and rolls to the wall. And no, he does not score on the play. Stops at third. But bases um, at second and third. Runners at the second and third there. <clears throat> Finally, big hit for Houston. One away. No strategy for Jason Castro. 0 for 1 with the strikeout. 62, uh-oh, 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 and just like that, Jason Castro cranks it deep out and going, going, and gone. Astros now take the lead, 3-2 on the three-run bomb here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And James Shields finally shows a crack in his shield as he gives up a three-run shot to Jason Castro. Carlos Correa comes up, still alive in this inning. Only one out. 22. We got a range play. So far, San Diego's 0 for 2 on range plays. 1 3. 15. 15 is going to be a fly ball to Venerable. Venerable failed. They're 0 for 3 on the range checks. We got a man aboard. And it ends up being a double. Center field. Who they want to sacrifice with Rasmus here. All right. Again, I'm going to follow the strategy unless it's, unless the team can lose uh, the game because of a strategy. I'm going to just follow whatever ro random rerolls. So if you're unlucky or lucky, we'll see what happens. 63. He's hit by the pitch. He is hit by the pitch. Tries to get a bunt over, and James Shields whacks him in the side. So, men on first and second for Jake Mazarek. And James Shields had a great first three innings. He'd like to forget this fourth inning, though. Error possibility. 41. That's going to be Upton. He's got a two error. Ooh, almost, but Upton, nice. Does not make a lot of errors. Catches that ball. Gets it into third. No advance on the play. Altuve, 0 for 2 today. 
0 for 2. We got another error possibility check here. 55, and it could be a single. Is it going to fall in? Uh, roll is less than or equal to. So Carlos Correa is going to score, and Rasmus is going to advance. No error check needed. So another run comes in for Houston. And their offense, as we talked about earlier, finally, finally comes alive. George Springer, the right fielder, stands in two-way. And finally, James Shields able to get out of the inning. Whew. But what an inning it was as Houston puts four spot on the board with a three-run Home run by Jason Castro. Let's see if San Diego can come right back here. They got the top of the lineup up, up 0 for 2 with the strikeout. Will Venerable, 45. We got a ballpark. It's, I think, our first check with Minute Maid Park. We've had a range play at the ballpark, but this is our first official ballpark check. Just ballpark. 36, well, it just happens to be a ground ball to a Tuve. Derek Norris, one for two with a score to run. 64, we got a range play. I think this is our first check, if I'm not mistaken, at range for right fielder Springer. Can't make the play. It's going to fall in for a double. Cannot get back to it as the liner goes over his head. And in with a double, Derek Norris. No strategy. Matt Kemp, one for one with a walk. Matt Kemp against Dallas Keuchel. Uh, grounds ball to El Tuve. Out at first. No advance on the play. Justin Upton, one for two, two away now in the top of the fifth. One, six, 12, nope. 55, it's a liner right at Correa. That's going to end the inning. Bottom of six, Valbuena. One for two and scored a run. And another shot by... Houston as Valbuena takes the ball deep into right field. And it's gone. And they extend their lead 5-2. Evan Gaddis 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. 36. We got a strikeout. Chris Carter 2 for 2 with the double. Scored a run. 8. Nope. Chris Carter. One, three, he lines it, or singles past Middlebrooks, right down the line. He's going to try and steal, and he does not. He's caught stealing. Jason Castro, one for two with a home run, a strikeout, score to run. Against the lefties, no strikeout. He's got three RBIs with that big shot. He's got himself a single, too. Jason Castro, home run and a single. Carlos Correa, two for two with a double. 55, and this time goes down in strikeout. Ends the inning. So, top of six. Solarte, first baseman. One for two with a strikeout. RBI, 1-3, error possibility, 42, fly ball to center, no error, Masaryk makes the play easily, Corey Spannenberg, 0 for 1 with a walk, 1-3, same thing, back to back rolls, 1-3, 34, he's going to single in the center field, no error. Melvin Upton 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. No strategy. Melvin Upton 0 for 2, 44, and not hit by the pitch. 
45, and that's going to be a single past Venerable. We got first and second. First and second. Only one out. Dallas Keiko showing a little crack in his armor now. Will Middlebrooks, the replacement here. Third baseman, one four. Strikes out. Chad Jerko 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Two way. Sixty two. Fifty one. And he's going to fly that. He's going to fly that ball into left field for the third out. Bottom of six. Rasmus up. James Shields, one more batter, and he will be officially tired. 44. Rasmus, left fielder, 55. Lines it right at Solarte, but he makes the play. Jake Masaryk comes in. 0 for 2. 53. Ooh, nice strikeout. 56, that one's going to go right over to Jerko, makes the play. Jose Otenve with two outs here in the bottom of the six. One for three. And no walk. 65 against the righty is going to be ground ball to short. Ends the inning. So, one, two, three inning there. Dallas Keuchel, one hitter left before he's tired. And that hitter will be Will Venerable, who's over three today. 53. It's a blank. And a one, two, ground ball down the line. Carter makes the play. Two for three. Derek Norris, next uh, person on base, will pull Dallas Keuchel. 54. And that's it for Keiko as he walks the runner. He automatically has to get pulled. So Dallas Keiko, stat line, six and a third, seven hits, two runs, two errors, three walks, eight strikeouts. He did his job. Oh, um, that's not what I wanted. Uh, here, there we go. Uh, let's see who's coming up. We got righty, righty, switchy. Righty, righty, switch. He's going to bring in Will Harris here. Will Harris comes in. Facing off against Matt Kemp. One for two with a walk. Man on first, one out. 61. That's a blank. And we do have to watch this now. That If that falls, if the blue number on the batter's card falls within these numbers... And it's not a hit. These take precedence over error checks or range checks. So it'll be strikeouts instead. So uh, 42. He flies it out to left field. Two way. Justin Upton, one for three here. 64. And take me out to the ball game. It's right, seventh inning stretch time here. The home team up 5-2. All right, James Shields against George Springer. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. It's not a very good day for Springer. And make that 0 for 4 with four strikeouts. Wow. Valbuena, 2 for 3 with a home run. 54, and he's going to strike out. James Shields not done yet. Alvin Gaddis, 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. That's a blank, and that's going to be a ground ball to Jerko. That's a 1-2-3 inning. All right, well San Diego's running out of running out of innings. Need to do something now. All right, Solarte, one for three with a strikeout in RBI, 44, strikes out again. Corey Spannenberg, one for two with the walk and an RBI. And one, one, that's going to be a little 
pop fly into right field. And Melvin Upton, one for three with two strikeouts. 53. Error possibility. Eight. It doesn't fall in there. 36. Against the right, he's going to be fly ball. Spencer over here. He's got a three error, no error. Spencer makes the play. And we're in the bottom of the eighth inning. James Shields still going. Three for three. Chris Carter. And this time Carter goes down on strikes. Jason Castro, two for three with a home run. A big shot there. Three run homer. Pretty much the difference in this game right now. One four. And he'll walk. And that'll be it for James Shields. James Shields' stat line goes like this. Seven and third. Ten hits, five earned, five runs, one walk, 13 strikeouts. I think he did okay. Just not too bad a line. Obviously giving up that three-run homer. Uh, let's see who's coming up. Righty, lefty, righty. So we're going to bring in... Uh, wow. Wow. Joe Quinn Bonate. All right, well, that's what we're going to go with anyways. <laughs> All right, he's going to face off against Korea here. Man on first, no strategies. One out, bottom of eight. They, gotta, they can't allow another one. They just can't, or it'll be over. We'll see. It's a four, two, three. So instead of this, instead of... Clicking this, because that would be an automatic out. It's a 1 to 5. So do you click on this? Yep, looks like we do. He struck him out. All right, 2, 5. Oh, two way, bottom of 8. Colby Rasmus, left fielder. 45, and he strikes him out. All right, Will Harris... Righty, who's uh, officially tired, we're going to pull him, and they're going to bring in the closer, Luke Gregerson. The righty, Luke Gregerson, comes in to close this game out, up by three, top of nine. Middlebrooks, third baseman, substitution player, 0 for 2 with his strikeout. Let's see what we have on the bench. If we look at lefties, we do have. Hmm, problem is, how many third basemen do we have? We have Brett Wallace that can come in the game. Let's look at. Uh, no, I don't want to click up there. If you do that and you work down here, then you crash the game. So. I need to get a man on. Let's look by averages. 302 Brett Wallace. He might be our might be our mm, 64 games. It's a little light. A little light. I mean, that's you know less than less than a third of the season. So yeah, I think we'll just let. We don't have much choice. I don't have that much um, on the bench. One, three, and that's going to be a strikeout. Especially in third baseman. We don't have anybody that can come in and play third. That's that's the issue. Now, for short, that's a different story. Let's look at short here. Short stop. We have uh, Clint Barnes, and we have... He's a lefty. He's a 3-9, so his defense actually, his range goes up. But notice I took Jerko because he's had more time. 421 versus 324. So we're going to go with uh, Alexi here. He's going to come in for Jerko. There we go. Jerko didn't have a very good day. Alexi Amistra coming in to face Luke Gregerson. Righty versus lefty. 66 wild pitches. Nothing. One away here in the ninth inning. 
25. And that's two strikeouts for Gregerson. Two up, two struck out. Will Venerable. They're down their last out. 244 hitter, six home runs, 33 RBIs. Left fielder. If we just look at average. 302. Will Myers. 253. Let's see. What was Venerable's average? 244. So six home runs, 33. So the the replacement player is about the same. He's slightly better average, but less home runs. Oh no, I guess oh, that was okay. That was eight home runs. So slightly more home runs. Played in 60 games. So a little bit over a third of a uh, season. Dickerson. Uh, do we pull him? What was his stat like? 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and pull him. 0 for 4. I don't want to be accused of not. Let's see. Will Meyer, uh, venerable center field. Let's see who we have for replacements, though. That's going to be the problem. If they somehow come back and win this, we're going to need a center fielder which would have to be Will Myers, which has a range of one and a plus two to any play, which is not good. I don't believe that's good. I believe you want lower. Plus two to the, the dice roll, I think, is what it ends up being. So, yeah, if we pull him for a pinch hitter, we're going to have to replace him with Will Myers. One range, no errors, plus two. But I guess you don't have to worry about that unless you get that comeback. But something to keep in the back of our minds. All right. Uh, Will Moore. Will Myers. 253 hitter. Eight home runs. 253. Eight home runs. Compare that to Venerable. And hang on, I'll be right back.
than I was, so my back might show the stone a lot better. Um But my my last week my chicken was really good. Now I'm back to, you know, it's in the a hundred and fifteen. For red? Yes. That's all right. But I got a fifty two on the front yeah, nine. All right, sorry about that. A little interruption there. Sorry, folks. Uh, all right, well, and then, of course, it happens with two outs in the top of the ninth inning. I guess we're going to leave. Oh, we made the replacement, didn't we? Will Venerable is going to come in. No, we didn't make the replacement. That's right. Yeah, we'd go from a one... Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to leave it up to him. He's a lefty, too. So, 55, rings play. Let's see if we can get out of the game here. 32. Nope, that's a single. And that's Kemp can take it away. And he does. Kemp comes running in. Takes away that um, hit. And that's it. San Diego defeats Houston 5-2, to two, and Houston wins, Houston wins. Let's check out the stat line here. Let's save first. Always nervous something bad's going to happen. All right, Houston comes back after losing 2 nothing. Comes back and picks up a 5-2 victory. So Venerable was 0 for 5, did not help his cause there. 2 for 3, Derek Norris. 1 for 3, Kemp. 1 for 4, Upton. 1 for 4, Solarte. 1 for 3, Spangenberg. 1 for 4, Upton. And Alonzo, Middlebrooks, Jerko, and Amestra. None of them got a hit. So total hits, 7 hits. Uh, 1 double. Three walks, 11 strikeouts. Houston, Altuve was 1 for 4. Springer was 0 for 4. Venerable was 2 for 4. Gaddis was 0 for 4. Chris Carter, 3 for 4. Castro, 2 for 3. Correa, 2 for 4. Rasmus, 0 for 3. And Jake Masaryk, 0 for 3. So, 10 hits. Two doubles. And that one big home run, I'm sorry, two home runs, three run and a single shot, and then one walk, 15 strikeouts. Stat line goes Keiko with the win, six and a third, seven hits, two runs, two earned, three walks, eight strikeouts. With the loss, James Shields went seven and a third, ten hits, five runs, five earned, one walk, 13 strikeouts, two home runs, one hit by pitch. Not a bad outing, actually. If it wasn't for that one three-run shot, we would be going into extra innings. There you go. So that is that. We can go in and update our tournament stat results. So no, no, no. I don't want that full screen right now. Thank you. Let's go in and update our screen results here. As Houston... Five, San Diego two, oops, not 25, two, and Houston, the number 10 seed, moves on and will face the Colorado Rockies, the 26th seed here, and then the second round. So next game coming up will be Kansas City, the number four seed, and of course, the World Series, part series participant in 2015 for the American League. The National League already had their participant knocked out of the tournament as the Mets fell to the Rockies. Let's see if Kansas City can stay in the tournament. They're going to be taking on the Cincinnati Reds. That'll be the next game coming up. Hopefully you guys can join us for that. The 429 seeds here in our Major League Baseball one and done series. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and bring this live stream to a close. Hopefully, for those of you watching afterwards, um, 
you're watching afterwards, you can jump in sometime and help us out when we're running a live game here. Uh, the play-by-play -play went 2 nothing. San Diego after one stayed that way to the fourth inning. They got a run and then a three-run home run. Another one in the fifth on a single shot, and that's all they needed is Dallas Keiko cruised the rest of the way, shutting down San Diego's offense except for that first inning, and they could have been a lot more. Remember in that first inning, they had bases loaded with one away, and then they walked a run in, and then a single down the third base line, and still bases loaded. And I think there was only one out, and then they ended up getting a strikeout and a pop out. So it could have been San Diego could have gotten more runs there in the first inning. Could have definitely changed changed the outcome. But Houston survives. And that's the name of this game right now. Uh, this tournament is just win and survive and move on because too many higher seeds drop into the low seeds. So survive and move on is Houston. Five, San Diego two. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you're watching this later on my YouTube, be sure to stop in and watch our Twitch streams. And we'll see everyone next time. Thanks for watching.